I'm in Mesa, Arizona, and this is the new site that's going to be the new Steadfast Farm, and this is at a development called Eastmark, and they have partnered with the developers here, and it's a pretty exciting project. This is about a 1.8 acre lot, and uh, you can see it's sort of like a water catchment area, but we're gonna talk to Eric Schultz, who is the head farmer of Steadfast Farm, and I've been down here teaching a workshop on his farm for the last week. It's all finished now, it's gone incredibly well, and this is so exciting because this new site is in this awesome community development, and I like, I, frankly, I'm totally jealous. This is just like the best type of urban farm you could have. It's amongst a huge development where there's tons of homes being built. There's a park, a community center, a really awesome restaurant here called the Handlebar Cafe that we, um, or Handlebar Diner that we all ate at the other night, and it's called the Handlebar Diner because it's only accessible by bike. So it's really cool. It's gonna be a super bike friendly community. And uh, we're gonna talk to Eric about what this place is all about and what we can expect. I will be back here next year, so you guys will see in a year's time from now a lot like this turned into a lush, amazing and productive and profitable urban farm. So this is the new Steadfast Farm site? Yeah. So in my introduction I said this is about, a, the, the land itself is about 1.8 acres, is that right? That's about right, yeah. Okay, okay. So tell us about, well actually before we go into some of the details, I'm, I, I want everybody to hear about how this whole thing came about because it's a pretty interesting opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Um... This has been two years in the making. Uh, the developer that is doing this whole project uh, came to came to us and just wanted to put a farm in a community and make uh, that one of their amenities for this community, which is massive. I think it's going to be fifteen thousand dwellings when it's all built out. Wow! And so, like, I mean, there's a lot of houses going up around here right yeah. now. So, like, even the field over here that they're going to be throwing houses in there. Yeah. And, yeah. Wow. How, do you know how big the total development area is? I don't know. Uh, it's but, the old General Motors proving ground. So it was this, a piece of land that had sat vacant for, for years and years. They used to test cars out, had a track <laughs> and test the limits of cars. So. Hilarious. Yeah. So, but either, n n needless to say, 15,000 homes, is, it's, that's the equivalent of like small towns. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's huge. Yeah. So, like, how did the conversation come up? Did they just reach out to you, or...? Yeah, they, they just uh, shot us an email, and, and we started this conversation about, you know, how would this look, and how would the arrangement work, and, I mean, it's complicated working with the developer, and I mean, they've got their, um, their agenda, their goals in that, and we obviously have to protect what we're doing as well, but no, it's been a great, great experience. Um, you know, farms are are trendy in, in communities right now, these agri-hoods, and we have some experience in, you know, in our previous farm locations doing that, so yeah. I, thought they, I think they thought we would be a, a good good fit for it, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a great relationship. And was it, what, what brought them to you? Was it like social media or something like that? Did they follow you on Instagram or something, or? Yeah, I think they, through social media, and then uh, we, at the old farm, we did a, a piece in the New York Times on agri-hoods, and so we were featured in there. Oh, so, wow, okay. So that's, some... so that's what we've been kind of known for uh, prior to our, our current location in, in Queen Creek. That's what we were doing. So cool. Yeah. And, I mean, we're right next to a restaurant that we all ate at the other day. Yeah. They're already a customer of yours. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, they'll obviously continue to be a customer. And then what do you think the marketing will look like? I mean, right now, Steadfast is probably big, the lion's share of your income comes from restaurants. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that'll obviously continue, but do you think that it's gonna morph when you're in this community? Because we're standing right where the farm stand is gonna be on the right. site, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll have an on-site on stand, uh, whether it's manned by somebody or self-serve. We haven't totally decided yet. We've done the self-serve in the past, and that's been very successful. Um, you, you can trust people, and uh, you know, especially in a community like this. In a community like this, yeah. and even if there is a small amount of theft, it far it's far less than the cost of labor to have somebody that's right. in there. That's right. You kind of build it in. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So we'll have. I mean, I think this community could really there could be a zero distribution model if we wanted to, and only supply produce to this community yeah although that's not necessarily what we're planning to do because we have this 
established relationship with lots of other restaurants and farmers markets and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. So let's talk about like the site specifics. So mm -hmm. you've got how's the land going to be divided up? Maybe actually maybe first let's talk about what you got to do to this because this is just yeah. raw, you know. Yeah, this is desert, very sandy soil. Uh, we're going to be uh, bringing out a lot of fill. They graded this because they were using so it was graded as retention, so self-retention. So anything that if we had rain stayed on site so we have to raise up that level to get rid of that bowl uh, effect yeah and then we're bringing in about 500 cubic yards of compost and uh, doing 100 a, cubic yards yeah, that's a lot of compost it's a, it's a lot of a lot of compost uh, and so soil mending so lots of soil tests um, and that sort of thing we've already done some initial tests so we know that there's no contamination or anything is, no issues with the soil but as far as amending and uh, you know nutrients in that uh, we'll make sure that we have nice balanced soil to, to work with. Yeah, yeah. And so this is going to be a question I know everybody's going to ask is, how do the economics play out for that? I mean, I know. Um, and I guess it's one of the benefits of uh, partnering with a developer because yeah. there's no way it could be economical for a farm if you don't own the land for you to pay for all the grading, all the excess materials. 500 yards of compost, right? right? Yep, yep. So they're making a big investment on the, the front end to get it uh, to a, a point where we can use it for farming. And so uh, from some of that soil, uh, the dirt work and amending and um, bringing in the utilities and um, some fencing around the project, that sort of thing, and then we'll take care of everything on the inside. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be great. Well, it's cool because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a real win-win because if you weren't here, this would be something that they would have to manage, yeah. right? It would have to be either some kind of landscaped thing that would require weeding. It might be a soccer field, which would require mowing or whatever. That would be a cost center with, with very little return for them. Whereas this, they're gonna have to make some initial investment to do something with this anyways. Yeah. So when it's a farm, they have a huge net benefit to their community, which actually you know is going to sell more homes in this community. Exactly. Like guaranteed. Yeah, the far farm sell homes, that, you know, and they have 10 different home builders building in here. Um, and so all, all, all these different builders in the model home complexes and that, they're all pushing the farm now. So they're all doing advertising for us already, which is pretty incredible. It's amazing, yeah. amazing. So you guys have, it's a five-year lease? Yep. And then we we'll probably just option to renew each five years or something. Yeah, right? after, after the five years, They'll reevaluate and make sure it's they feel like it's still an asset to the community, or if they want to do something else with it. So, but that's fair enough for us, and yeah, uh, yeah, well worth it. So, what are what are next steps, and like what's going to happen when? Yeah, we're uh, we're just working through some permitting. So we've got farm design basically wrapped up, um, and so we've done our initial submittals to the city, and so they've come back with some questions, and so we're just knock you know hashing through those details making sure everything is clarified and um, then we'll start working on the, the dirt work and uh, amending the soil and then uh, kind of end of uh, or in the month of July we'll start moving over some of the infrastructure from the other location so and July is kind of a dead season for you guys in a way because it's so hot right that things kind of slow down you take a vacation a little bit right and, yeah but this this you won't be taking a vacation this not July. this year not you'll this be hustling year. yeah yeah <laughs> So yeah, we'll be uh, yeah utilizing that because we start planting for fall in August. So we have a really small window, but I think it's doable to kind of get everything moved over and, and rocking. Yeah. So we can expect this site to be in production by like late fall next yeah. year, really. Yeah. And um, when we do the workshop again, it will it be here? I think it'd be a great Ho location. Hopefully. For it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would sure. be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool, Eric. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So that is the new Steadfast Farm at the Eastmark Development Community, and I'm just so excited about this. It's like the ultimate urban farming project. It's got it's got everything you want. It's got community around you. Um, so just just a ripe market. I imagine their biggest problem going forward is going to be meeting the demand and uh, keeping up with the demand. So that's it's a great problem to have, but. This is going to be really excited to wa exciting to watch over the next few years because I think this is going to be a, a benchmark example of what's possible with developing, and I think 
a lot of developers around the world are going to be watching this place with great interest and I know I will be and we'll be back here again next year so I imagine as I'm standing right now where I'm standing right now you're going to see a lot of green and a lot of activity around here so I'll talk to you guys later hope you found that helpful if you want to see more stuff like this hit the subscribe button follow Steadfast Farm on Instagram I'll have their link below and we'll talk to you later